So in the previous lecture, we have recorded this invoice to Amanda Clinton for $200. And we also learned that when we record this invoice, what happens in accounting records and how the reports are updated with this entry. In this lecture, we will add payment to this invoice and we will see what happens when the payment is recorded. So how the payment is recorded and what happens when the payment is recorded. So first of all, to add the payment on your invoice, you will click on this add payment button here. And once you do that, system will ask you that how much payment has been received against this invoice. That can be the full payment of $200 or if you have received the partial payment, you can edit this amount. I will say I'm receiving the full payment and the date I am getting paid here is 12th of August so that we can see what happens on 10th and what happens on 12th. I'm using a separate date here. Of course, you will be entering the date on which you actually receive the money. And now the next important question is where you have received this payment. It can be that you are receiving money in your bank or maybe you have received cash or it is also possible that you are deciding to settle it down against the owner's money. Maybe that owner has paid you money in your personal bank account. In that case, you can be using this account and not just the owner's account. You may also allow some other ledgers in your chart of accounts to be settled off to be used here for settling of the invoice. What can be the scenario where that is needed? We will discuss that later on. But here, let us talk about the most obvious case and which is either the money is coming in the bank or it is coming in the cash. Here I will say that the money is coming in the business current account. I will just click on that and I will click on add. And once you do that, your invoice will be updated for the status. And now this time you can see that the payment has been received and the invoice has been updated as paid. If you want to go back to invoice, just click on the name here and you can see the invoice again. But here, rather than the invoice, I need to show you some other things and that is the reports. So I will go back to balance sheet here. If you run the report on 10th of August, you will still see the receivable because the payment has come on the 12th. So I will just update it once for 10th of August. You can see you still have this receivable. And you can see that your business current account is 4750. But if I now update the report to reflect the values on 12th of August, you will see that your receivables have gone and your bank balance has increased by $200 because the money has been received in the bank. The receivables have automatically been removed from your balance sheet. And now if I go back to my profit and loss account and run it for 10th of August, you will still be seeing this income. There is no, no change here. The income is still the income. And if I just change this period from 10 to 12th and run it again, you can see you still have this income. But now if I change it to cash basis, since my period is 12th and the basis is cash basis, the income will still reflect, still be reflected on cash as well. So I will click on update and you can see that just give it a second please. You have your income of $200 here even when the cash basis is selected. But keep in mind if I exclude the 12th if I just take the 10 or maybe we can take 10 and 11 because the money is getting received on 12th. If you are working on cash basis this income will not be shown here. So you can see as expected, we are expecting the report on cash and the cash came on 12th, which means that no income for 10 and 11. So I hope you are understanding this very important concept now. And finally, let's go back to our invoice. So we have run the complete cycle here. We have recorded the invoice. We have also seen the impact on accounting reports when the invoice is recorded and when the invoice is paid. If you like to see the general entries for all of that, you will go here in the reports part and here you can see the general entries, I mean the accounting entries that we have recorded. So if you scroll down here, you will be able to see general report here 
and I will directly go to the specific date that is 10th of August so that we can see the general entries when we were raising the invoice. I will repeat if you are not an accountant you don't need to see this it is not relevant to you. So here when we raise the invoice you can see the accounting entry, account receivables debit and preventive income credit. And later on when we paid this invoice we can see what is happening there on the 12th of August just click on update and you can see receivables then were then credited I mean removed and the business current account was debited with this now we have seen the complete cycle of invoice and payment but there is one more part to invoice and that is we have to raise the invoice and we have to share it with customer we may like to do that using a printed format and sharing the physical document with the customer or we may like to email it to our customer the good news is both of these options are available in zero and i will show that to you separately in the next lecture